Hello and welcome to chair yoga. I thought we could do 20 minutes of chair yoga together today to show you that everybody can enjoy the benefits of a yoga practice. You can do it from a chair. Uh, there's a few things that you might like to have with you. Have a solid, comfortable chair. If you've got arms on, that's okay. You can use them for support. But if not, that's fine too. Just make sure you don't walk off. Now I've got bare feet. But if you have sensitive soles of the feet, you can always put your socks on. We're not really doing anything that will cause us to slip. So um, as opposed to a regular standing yoga class where we always take our socks off to be careful of sliding and injuring ourselves, you don't need to worry about that. So if you prefer to have your socks on, then please do. So sitting on the chair, ideally our knees in line with the hips. So if your chair's a bit taller and you feel like you're not quite there, you could get the equivalent of something like this. This is a yoga brick, uh, but a book, couple of books would do, or anything that you've got that you can put underneath your feet, and then that way, to help you just to be a little bit more comfortable, the hips more in line with, uh, your knees more in line with your hips. Also, one more thing. We try to work on really good posture to help our core muscles to work properly and to support us. And also with yoga, we always try to work with a lovely long spine so that we can breathe really deeply to get the maximum benefit of deep breathing. The benefits, some of the benefits are that you breathe in lots of oxygen if you're sitting tall, as opposed to here, closing down the airways. Obviously, if you're unable to sit really, really tall, don't worry, just try to, in time, grow up your spine as much as you can. So avoid leaning on your chair. Let's begin. Sitting as tall as you comfortably can. Just turn your palms up to face the sky. Bend your elbows in towards you a little bit so that that allows your shoulders to be relaxed. If your arms are straight, let your shoulders come up and then they're stressed. So let's bend the elbows. From your crown of your head, row up really tall and feel, be aware of your sitting bones, sitting on the chair firmly. Our feet are down on the floor, all the blocks, bricks, books, toes are spread, so we start to feel grounded. From here, we're just going to take a few moments to notice the breath and to start to breathe a little more deeply. So nice and quietly, if you've been rushing around before, you decided to do your yoga today, you might be breathing quite high up in the chest. Let's think about grounding the breath deeper down into the body to help us feel a little bit more in control, if you like, a little bit more rooted and stable. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. If that's not comfortable for you to do, just breathe as freely as you can. Inhaling, and we start to breathe a little bit more deeply, taking in more oxygen with each breath. And in turn, we exhale more stale air and toxins the longer the breath is. We try to practice abdominal breathing. So let's place a hand onto the belly and feel the breath now. As you inhale, notice the belly moves towards your hand. Imagine the breath filling your lungs right up to your collarbones. And then exhale, feel the belly move away from your hand towards your spine. Inhale very deeply, belly moving towards the hand, the breath is rising up, filling our lungs. And then exhale, belly gently moves away from the hand. Let's do a couple more breaths like this together. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two more really deep, lovely breaths. Inhale. Exhale, remember to sit super tall, especially when we exhale and we'll be tempted to lean back. Just once more. Inhale and exhale. Let's start 
want to move and try to remember the longer deep breaths, bringing your hands forward, spread your fingers. And we do a few little wrist movements. Please be careful if you have painful or uncomfortable joints. Just move as freely and as easily as you can. I'm going to circle the hands around, waking up the wrists and change direction. Lovely. Bringing the hands back down, I lift one heel up and down, and then the other. Moving down to the feet. Waking up the ankles. If it feels good, see if you can do on the right side. Ankle circles. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Super. Let's change side. Gently circling the ankle. Remember, if it's uncomfortable, just rest. We'll be moving on to something new very soon. Super. And gently lay the foot back down. Okay, taking your arms down to the side. Let's reach the right arm up and then gently down. And the left, inhale to the lift and lengthen, exhale, lower. Inhale, we're creating space in the ribs, space for us to breathe more deeply. The other side, up and down. If it feels good, take two arms together all the way, or just as far as is comfortable, and then back down. Let's go again, inhale, sweep your arms up, and exhale, lower them down. I'm going to start moving through our yoga postures now. Let's begin with Tadasana, Mountain Pose. We're extended Mountain Pose. Press your palms, reach up to the sky. Really grow as tall as you can. If you have a happy, healthy neck, you can turn your gaze up. Inhale, deeply grow a little bit more. And then we exhale, bring the hands back down towards the middle of the body. Reaching the right hand under the chair, just in case. Sweeping up, deep breath in, left arm up, and then exhale into a side stretch. So keep rubbing up, even though you're bending to the side. Come back up, inhale, and exhale, come down. Inhale, lift the right. Lift and lengthen as you slide over to the side. Gently come up. This feels quite nice, so let's do two more. All the way up, super tall, and lean and lengthen. But look at the difference between this and this. Let's see if we can get here. Once more. All the way up, and gently over. Bringing your arms down, take your hands one on top of the other. A spinal twist. Twisty postures are really great for nourishing our digestive system. They're good for releasing stress in the spine, the lower spine, mid spine. So just take a few gentle twists and it really doesn't matter how far you go. You go as far as is comfortable for you. Good. Remember, your breath, inhale as you come in. And then exhale on the twist as if you're squeezing, bringing the breath out of the waist. Two more times. Center. Last time here. And center. Okay. Let's bring the right leg up, holding under the thigh. Alternatively, you can hold around to the shin. Not if this hurts your knee, though. Draw the knee in and sit super tall. This is a variation of crane pose. Think of rooting down through your supporting hip and grow from the crown of your head. Steady the breath. You might feel that you are releasing a little bit of stress from your lower back here. That should feel good. And then gently come back down. Let's change side. Variation of crane, reach up, maybe hold under the thigh, or you could hold around the shin as long as it doesn't pinch your knee. Super tall. As well as a variation of crane pose, this is also a seated variation of wind releasing pose. 
and then gently come back down. See how this one works for you. Maybe you can draw up the leg and rest the ankle on the top of the thigh. If that's not for you, you could just rest your ankle here. It's absolutely fine, just go where it feels good. We're aiming to get an opening or stretching in the outside of the hip. So holding onto your ankle, that's quite solid. Inhale, lift your heart. Just bring your chest forward a little bit. Lengthen your spine. Breathe. Lovely, long, calming breaths. Untie yourself and we'll try the other side. I'll do this side the other way, resting the foot lower down, lifting really tall, bringing your chest forward. You can have your foot up here if it will happily go there. Super, well done. Bringing the leg back down, hands to heart centre. Take a twisted chair, chair pose. I'm just going to bring my feet a bit closer for this one now and my knees. So inhale, lift the chest. I'm going to take the outer edge of my left elbow outside the right thigh. Thumbs coming into the breastbone and I'm turning into a twist, steadying the breath. Now we just think about your neck here. If your neck isn't happy, look down to your feet. If your neck is healthy and very happy, tuck the chin in. Look beyond your shoulder. Crossing your thumbs, this helps to engage your triceps. Reach down and then reach all the way up to come out of your twist. And we'll try the other side. Bring your hands together, taking the right elbow outside the right knee, thumbs to the breastbone. Open your heart and maybe turn your gaze so you're looking over. Unhappy necks. Just look down towards your knees. Lovely long breaths, calming and soothing as well when you breathe deeply. It's a little calming our nervous system. All right, let's come all the way back up. And hands come back down. Rest your hands on your thighs. Work through cat and cow pose. It's really lovely for your back. So, Resting my hands over the top of my knees. Hopefully I'm not too far back into my chair. First of all, cat pose. Think of drawing your belly in to the spine. Take a deep breath in first. And then exhale, chin to chest, roll back. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your chest, and come forward into cow pose. Exhale, pull your belly in, chin to chest, cat. Inhale, coming up, lift your heart, cow pose. We'll do two more, and you can feel this, especially now when we move into cat pose. Lovely stretch, deep, deep in your lower spine. And then once more to cow pose, all the way up with your heart. And then exhale and just settle in the middle. Palms together, cross your thumbs. We're going to give the arms a stretch. Come all the way up if that feels good. First of all, we'll bend one arm and hold your hand onto the other arm. Deep breath in and a little stretch to the side. change side. Leaning and lengthening. Try not to do what I just realised I did. Try not to sink back towards the back of your chair and come all the way up. Two hands together, cross your thumbs, inhale, lift, exhale, keep the hands down. Just push your can between your shoulder blades. Poke your elbows up, steady the breath. Inhale your arms, lengthen, and exhale, come back down. Let's take hold of the chair if that's accessible for you. Into a back bend. So first we lean forward, then we lift the heart. My elbows are bending a little. And then come in. Here's a cat. 
counter pose, either one leg in or two legs in. I don't think my chair's big enough for me to do two, but try and hook your knees in. I'm going to do one, just want to get a length in, in the back, so I'm counter pose and that backward bend. All right, so if we can, we're going to come to stand just for two postures. Make sure you're not going to trip over your blocks or your bricks or your books. Gently come on up. Tadasana, mountain pose, lifting tall. This is extended Tadasana. Maybe hip up. And if it feels good, exhale, come forward, bend your knees. And we come to a forward fold into a dangle. Relax your neck. Rise and back up, bend your knees, sweep all the way up to the top. Bring your hands into your heart center. Look for your chair. Sit back down. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today for some chair yoga. I hope you found some benefits there. See you next time.